I guess I was wrong about giving them temple brutality tech. Because apparently they are utilizing it. Which is going to be a little bit scary if they were to get into melee. Oh crap. Good thing I had the option of withdraw there. Otherwise I would have just lost all, of sh all those troops. And then the Pox Plague would have been done with. I wouldn't have to think on it anymore. Which actually doesn't sound like a bad thing. I wonder if they include hotkeys for these ever since the patch. Because I'm not seeing one. There's hotkeys for the attack mo their attack behavior at least, but not for these abilities, sadly, that I can see. And this is going to die even faster. Considering this is just a regular star base. Yeah, like I said, they have a stronger broadside than they do have on the front, I think. Unless I enhance the arc on those side weapons. Maybe then it would have a better punch in front. Although that isn't quite the attention I had for them. Since their mobility helps them to dodge a lot of the fire. Anyways, there's the lightning two, well it's lightning one taken. I have this entire system and I have two poor worlds which I have to figure out what the hell I'm gonna do with. Well. I'm getting ahead of myself again, aren't I? This is going to be so simple a fight. I really feel Fides Falvar, I really do. Who the hell am I kidding? They murdered me last game. The last campaign. I'm not showing them any mercy at all. So I'm going to relish this. Every moment of it. Nice. Two photon torpedoes gives me two kills. Of course, they are Corvettes, so I'm not really surprised. Nice and simple. Those poor things. Although... That is kind of the fall of our design, isn't it? Really cheap, affordable ships that you can build on that. But still, with the command points, you're kind of encouraged to make as powerful a ship as you can. So with the fall of our, I imagine you would just use them as suicide ships almost if you want to try and really mass them. Because otherwise you're just going to have a large armada that's costing you the same amount as my fleet is right now with its higher tech. So I wouldn't really see the appeal for that. Unless you're going to go all out and aggressive on everyone. You're kind of forced to do that unless you don't build any ships at all. So which one's my melier? I want to try and get an attack with him to see how that wor works with the armor cuz as cuz right now he does like 20 damage in attack and how much does does that mean I'm going to do 15 damage per melee attack or just 10 cuz it was doing 5 before the pox so that's what I'm curious about oops that was a mistake i forgot i had a medic in there I'm rushing this just a little bit. So he's going to have like three movement points. So I'll be fine letting him come into range. And I can just shoot a rocket right now. Take out these two, hopefully this turn. Yep, nice and simple. Ooh. I even get him in the first shot to do the smart link. Oh, 
Oh, and he just heals himself, so never mind that. I'll be left in suspense for another turn to see what my melee can do. Unless I could take out these range guys. Then... Eh, well, close, anyway. So, let's see. 20 damage, yeah. So, it heavily bypasses the armor shield, because normally that would give him 10 resistance. So let's finish this up, shall we? So the the Temple of Brutality is probably almost as essential if you're gonna fight other armored melee units at least. Imagine how much you would obliterate the range units if you can get close to them. If you can get close to them. Against bots, it's pretty much the same routine over and over again. You get a bunch of meliers with a handful of range shooters. You don't see much variety with the troops at least, so not all that exciting for the moment until they do like <laughs> well at least the developer actually updates their behavior with their ground infantry a little bit more because there's a lot of infantry tech you could take advantage of. That rail rifle would murder my current style of play quite heavily. The rail rifle going through the shield and hitting any troops that are behind it could be pretty devastating. Of course, obviously multiplayer would be where it's at for differing play styles, aside sort of maybe the ship fleet battles. Because that seems to have been figured out for the sake of, well, at least the sake of bots, anyway. But of course, these games go on for an eternity if you were to try and play multiplayer. So playing against bots is kind of the norm. We all, we're kind of all aware of that. Hell, I tried only one game of Civilization V multiplayer and don't even think I got that far with it, sadly. Because you feel forced to have to finish that campaign or play a really short campaign and not one of a grand large scales like this one here. Which is a little unfortunate. Which I guess is a lot of the criticism for Star Drive 1. Well, not Star Drive 1, but Star Drive 2 not being real time like Star Drive 1. Because I actually enjoyed that quite a bit. In retrospect, though, I think I'm more a little more fun of Star Drive 2 because I have such nostalgia for Masters of Orion 2, though. Because the turn base is what that game was all about. Of course, the cheating bots are still there, too. Which is a little unfortunate. So we got another Hornet here. And I'm not seeing any risk of anything at all attacking. Oh, and I haven't been. Might as well grab this asteroid. Since it is building Corvettes right now, that should be perfectly fine. That fleet hasn't really been moving at all, Jesus. So I'm wondering why do I even have to worry about it at all? I could probably just annihilate the rest of the Federation sis fleets and take all their systems and that fleet's not going to do anything. Is that really what's going to happen? <sighs> it was bound to happen, I guess. Uh, it does not look like I'm going to be able to hold this. And I can't really check their ship status, so I gotta try and take out as many of the ships as I can. Ah, Riley. We had such a good thing going on here. And this is how you repay me. This is gonna be r pretty rough. And what's funny is, 
if I could defend my asteroid belt from the ground evasion, I'm probably going to blockade them as well, which is going to be silly. That's quite a large fleet. We're looking at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They've got a lot of... Are those really all battleships? Oh yeah, they're battleships. Because these are the cruisers right here. Let's see how bad this goes. I think I'm going to have to slow-mo this to help ease the load a little bit. Jesus Christ. At least it got venom sprayers to help with the sum. Jesus. What the hell can I do about this? This is going to be its own episode, isn't it? Oh, this is going to stink. Um, what I want to do is kill off most of those fighters, I suppose, because they're going to be an annoyance. Because my Phantom Sprayers can do that just fine with a good couple volleys. Although, this is going to be awkward. I apologize if anyone has to watch this. But just to let everyone know there, I skipped the remainder of the battle there directly to the score screen because having to watch that for another 5-10 minutes or so was not doing anyone any favors, so I apologize for that. Let's continue, shall we? Well, we're finally done with that battle there. Unfortunately, it did end in a loss, but what I'm really curious is what the hell they end up killing. Because there's going to be a massive spam of all the fighters probably that died. But I have no idea what actually, what worth, anything worthwhile I killed. Because I gotta have killed something, right? Because of their low armor. I don't even think they had shields, to be honest. And it's going to go on for a while, I think. I want to know if there's some value from this fight there, or if I should have given up on a long go. Okay, lots of corvettes. Anything bigger than that, though. I want to see frigates, I want to see cruisers, I want to see a battle cruiser or two, possibly. Although it doesn't seem likely I kill any of the battle cruisers. Definitely a lot of fighters who who would who shocked by that. This list is gonna go on forever, Jesus Christ. Sadly I lost my fleet, and I can only imagine how bad it would have been if I had more ships there, Jesus. Ooh, okay, there's two I'm assuming those are two battleships there. Maybe those are the cruisers, because they look similar. That's something at least. And not too terribly much I actually killed, which is unfortunate. Gotta say, that slowdown was horrendous. Like I said before, I'm gonna have to resort to auto-resolve unless I can find some way to fix that. Otherwise, we're going to have to go through every one of these where I can't actually control my fleet. And just waste a bunch of time. So that is unfortunate. So, let's just take on... This extra bell and grab that wormhole at least. Huh, I'm curious. Maybe that wormhole actually goes down to the Raleigh system. That seems possible. Actually, would not surprise me either too terribly much. Yeah, I'm not too concerned letting my uh, cruisers go in there. Or corvettes even, because I don't want to lose them, so I'm just going to leave them out of the fight for now while everything else takes care of that station. That, those sprays look 
nice, don't they? If only they didn't lag up the system as much as they do. And that was nice and fast. Just how you want it. So, it's likely I'm going to lose my asteroid production world. But I'll hopefully gain access this one. What is it? Just rich, I think? So it's not going to be as valuable, unfortunately. So, let's see. I'm curious if they're actually going to drop troops onto my plan or not. Considering the amount of ships they had, I'm probably going to be severely outclassed over at Almery. Oh, but it looks like I get to do something here. So after all that, I don't think they have a... Okay, they do have... They have a colony ship, which doesn't mean much. And I did upgrade all these guys appropriately, right? Yes, I did. I'm just tempted... To, seriously tempted just to go all rocketeers here, because I'm probably going to need a lot of rockets deal with the massive troops that are probably going to be coming here. And if anything, they are probably going to do the exact same thing as what happened before. Almost. Or is it just going to hover there and do nothing? Which would be a little stupid glitch. 